Hi, this is Nathan from Nathan Ray uh, Productions. I'm going to do a quick tutorial now about how to use iMovie for iOS, uh, which is obviously on iPod Touch or on iPhone, how to use it more effectively, how to do titles better, how to turn footage, which is the wrong way up, and also, most importantly, how to add uh, fade from black and fade to black, um, how to use that, a really simple way of doing that, which isn't included on um, iMovie at all. So I, I have a cat here who's just jumped up onto my lap. Okay, so, oh, excuse me. So first of all, we need to go to um, uh, my video apps and uh, obviously iMovie is in there. Um, we need to Mm, let's get this tipped up right. Okay, so we're going to get some media in here. Last night my shed blew over in the wind, so I'm going to get the photo of that to start my video. There we go. So there's the shed, and obviously there's there's a Ken Ken Burns effect on that, so the camera kind of pans across the photograph there like that. Okay, because I didn't have any friends to help me today, I had to sh flip the shed over myself. So I've got a few clips here. I've got this clip. Now at the beginning in iOS iMovie, there's no way to add a transition before the first clip. So you can't fade in from black. And the same at the end, there's no way to fade out at the end to black and I'm going to show you a quick way around this now. Um, so what we're going to do now is quickly get a little bit of black there so we can do a fade from black. We're going to go to camera um, like so and put my finger over the over the thing there. We're going to record a second We've got three seconds of black there. I'm going to use that three seconds of black. Use and... So now we've got three seconds of black at the first. Press on, touch on it. And we're going to turn the audio off so you don't get me talking over it. Done. We're going to shorten it down to just... Very short. Now if we watch this, um, the opening, it goes... Uh, okay, bit so at the end. The so stop that. Go to the end. Obviously, at the end of a f at the end of a film, we want to fade to black again, and we can do that by um, dropping that four seconds of black in at the end. And turn the audio off again. So now, at the end of the film, at the end of the fades to black. Now, for titles, uh, I want to put a title over this first photograph here. But for some reason, when, when I press on it, there's no way that um, iMovie lets you, to put a, a put, lets you put a title on that. Just get out of that. Um, go back to projects. Uh, start a new project. Plus, I'll just choose that theme and I'm going to import a photo in there from the camera roll, that first one. Ta -da, there we go. And uh, have that there. Now, I want the Ken Burns approach to zoom in on it. So I want to zoom out there. Then go to the end and I want to zoom in on it there. Export that and I'm going to send it out as medium. Okay. I'll edit this down once I'm um, online. So now uh, that's it. So I'm going to go back to Go back to today's project, which was this one. And instead of having this here, 
Um, I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to bring in uh, this video here instead, which is the same length, but instead of it being a still picture with Ken Burns on now, it is a clip of video. And over this video, I can add on um, a title. And we want um, the opening title, and I'm going to click on here. Uh, what should we have the title as? There we go. So now, done. Done that. So now, it, the start of it goes like this. Show, solo flip, shed flip made on my iPod Touch. Okay, so there's the ropes, the shed. And into the moving. So, fade from black, added some um, added some titles over the uh, photo, which okay. which are two things which iPhoto doesn't, uh, iMovie doesn't allow you to do. Now this first clip, obviously I turn the camera over part way through, so I'm going to use the first half of this clip, um, the first half of this clip until I flip it over there, that's going to be the first clip. And now I want to use that clip again, the, the second half of that clip, but upside down. To do that, unfortunately, you have to buy a another application. I've bought an application called V-Rotate, and it very simply, uh, you open a clip from the camera roll. I wanted that first one, and it imports. I'll edit this bit. Okay, so once that's done, you just save it, and that takes a little while again. So now back on iMovie, we should be able to have, um, that's that first clip, isn't it? Yep, and then we need to drop another one in there. Um, see that 152? We've got it twice now. Once starts upside down and goes the right way up, once starts the right way up and goes upside down. We obviously want the second one, and it's there. And I need to edit off the. Um, so there's the ropes, the shed. The front end of that clip, which I can do fairly easily. There we go. Now, hopefully, go between the two clips. How this goes. Right, okay, in a minute I'm going to go through and trim all these clips down. Okay, so in this video I've shown you how to do a fade from black using that four second clip of black. You can also use a, a photo of black there, but if you use a photo you can't put titles over it. Uh, I've shown you how to turn the uh, the photo very quickly into a video, so then you can put your um, your title over the video. And I've also shown you how to change this, um, flip this over into um, so it's the right way up using that V flip or that other wrap. Obviously at the end you can use those four seconds of black again to add different um, titles at the end and then fade to black at the end again using that thing. Uh, you can also do fade to red by if there's a strong light behind the camera. Um, uh, let's see if I can show you the camera. If you have a strong light you can um, you can put your finger over the camera like that and then do uh, you can do a fade to red or, or whatever or if you have a piece of paper or tissue paper put the tissue paper over the camera you can do a fade to white get white very easily there um, yeah so that's it my name's um, Nathan Ray if you've got any questions you can uh, ask them on Twitter I'm at Nathan Ray on Twitter or email is Nathan at Nathan Ray .co.uk and check out my website for other videos and tutorials um, that is nathanray.co.uk. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Um, see you later. Oh yes, editing. It's very um, power hungry on your app. You'll also find uh, it gets quite hot as well. So, okay, thank you. Bye. Um, oh no. Let's record up here.